so I am so happy to be back on this channel. Finally, my exams are over and I'm free. I'm literally so happy that I can film and I thought I would do this yellow eye makeup look for you guys because a lot of you have been asking for a yellow eyeshadow look and I thought I'll just go for something dramatic because I just really wanted to play with my makeup. I just miss it so, so much and you guys don't even know how, much, how happy I am. And yeah, this is what I came up with. I think it's actually all right. But the shadow that I use, you can always use like in a subtle way. You don't have to pack so much on like I did, but um, the eyeshadow that I use is Makeup Geek Lemon Drop and it's got a little bit of shimmer and it's so, so pigmented. Even with my dark skin, it really came up um, and it shows up really, really well. Even the camera's not even picking it up enough, so. Yeah, this is the look I created. I missed you guys so much, you guys don't even know, and I'm just, as you can tell, I'm happy, basically. If you want to know how to get this look, then just keep on watching. So the first thing that I'm going to do is take my Naked Skin Concealer by Urban Decay in the shade Medium Dark Warm and just use this as my eyeshadow base and it just creates a really nice clean canvas for your eyeshadow to go on. I'm then going to take Soft Peach from the Anastasia Shadow Couture Palette which is the lighter shade in the palette and I'm just going to make sure that my concealer is nicely set and that all the other shadows blend nicely on top of that and then taking Morocco from the same palette which is a warm brown shade and just taking that to uh, right above my crease and just blending that softly and that just gonna, that's going to be the transition colour. Now I'm going to take this cool tone brown from the NYX Pro Contour and Highlight Palette, I think that's how it's called, um, and I'm just going to take this with um, the Sigma E39 brush, which was actually sent to me, they sent me some goodies and I've been playing with them so much, and this is just a thick buffing brush, and the prices of these brushes are actually not bad, and they're such good quality, so if you want to go check those brushes out and the cleaning brush mat, I have a link in the info box and you can check that out, I've also got 10% off promo code if you want to buy some Sigma products and here I'm just packing um, some yellow eyeshadow this is the Makeup Geek Lemon Drop eyeshadow which is so so pigmented if you haven't tried Makeup Geek eyeshadows I definitely recommend doing so and then here I'm just taking the very darkest shade in the Zoeva Cocoa Blend eyeshadow palette and just using this to deepen my crease and cre kind of creating a really soft cut crease a proper cut crease would be literally kind of like a liner or graphic liner in my opinion or using a cream product to really create a sharp cut crease but because this is all blended it's more of a softer cut crease in my opinion. So as I'm packing that dark eyeshadow I'm also making sure to take a clean fluffy brush to make sure that everything is nicely blended. Then for my eyeliner, I'm taking this combo right here, which is such an amazing combo. I'm taking the Sigma E06 brush and the Sigma Black Gel Eyeliner. And seriously, this will help you create the best eyeliner ever. Like, the brush is so thin. You could even use it for, like, your eyebrows as well. And it's just so good. And again, I have a link in the info box if you want to check them out. The prices are not that bad, to be honest. Um, and here I'm just cleaning the eyeliner with a makeup wipe. I also did add some lashes which were top lashes from eBay. They were like a pound and they're really wispy. And I also lined my lips with the Rimmel Tiramisu Lip Liner. And then added some L'Oreal Lip Gloss in 110. And yeah, that's all I did. I kind of missed... I had no footage of my face makeup. I thought I was filming it the whole time, but I ended up not filming it. I don't know, like, as I said, my camera stops filming and I never realise it in time. So I'm really sorry about that, but don't worry, there'll be more face makeup in future videos. And here I'm just lining my lower waterline with um, the Rimmel Cold Pencil in white and then just adding some mascara on my lower lashes. And this is the uh, Maybelline Falsies Push Up Mascara. Really sorry for like the missed face makeup, like the base makeup footage. I just didn't record it. I don't know, I'm just so stupid, but don't worry, it'll be up next time. And that's the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you would like to see next. And thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>